Greetings, gamer girls. I am Celestine, also known as Colclex99, and welcome to another Minecraft Mod Spotlight. Today we are in 1.8.9, and today we are going to be taking a look at the More Swords mod. Now I know what you're thinking. Didn't you already review this mod? Why, yes, I did. But um, uh, it, that was for 1.7.10. I decided I would do a re-review for 1.8.9. Um, they haven't really changed much, but I figured, you know, we just reviewed it anyway. So, basically, what this mod does is it adds in, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten new swords into the game, which aren't very good. And you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, if, so first up, we have the Dawn Star. To make that, all you need is a Blaze Rod, two Magma Cream, four Fire Charges, and two Blaze Powder. And for some reason, it doesn't have a texture, but, um, even though it did in 1710, so, which is weird. Anyways, but it still works the same way. You can still, like, block with it and stuff like that. Um, but I think the, the best mobs to test these against would be spiders, zombie pigment, and witches. Um, I don't have cute mobs installed, unfortunately. Um. Okay. You can see it works the same way, and unfortunately I couldn't find a damage indicators or Torah health mod at all. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to deal with it. But the durability is very good. You can see its, it's durability is 1,286, which is amazing. Up next, we have the vampi the Vampiric Blade. We, to make that, you just need a stick, two obsidian, two redstone, and two iron. And what would be really cool is if you could, like, um, when you hit the mob with it, it would... Um, well, actually, hold on. Let me get the Dawn Star back. It would uh, like suck, like steal its life and like heal you. That would be pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna test out the vampire blade and some mobs. So it does seven attack dam plus seven attack damage. Oh wow, the zombie pick and drop its sword. How often does that happen? And there we go. What the okay, that's that was weird. Um So yeah. And up, ne up next, we and the durability on this is uh, 812, not as good, but still good. And up next, we have the, the how do you pronounce this? Gla uh, Gladiola, Gla Gladiolus, Gladiolus, let's pronounce it that way. To make it, you put a stick, any kind of sapling, any kind of leaves, vines, and an azure bluet in the, in the middle. And basically, it's a leaf sword. Now, I always thought leaves were really sharp. So it does plus six attack damage. Okay. And its durability is 645, which makes sense because it's, you know, it's made of leaves. Up next, we have the, uh, what's it called? I can never remember these names for some reason. We have the Draconic Blade. To make that, you, go, you put a stick, a stick here, um, two lapis, a diamond, two iron, and a red, one redstone, like that. Um, so now the Draconic Blade is plus 7 attack damage, and it, its durability is 1,080, which is cool. Up next we have the Eye End Sword. To make that, you put a stick right here, two diamonds, an Eye of Ender, uh, two Ender Pearls, and Obsidian, like that. It does plus 8 attack damage. Oh, jeez.
Its durability is 1,580. And up next up we have, um, we have the, uh, Crystalline Blade. Uh, it's plus 5 attack damage. To make it, you put a stick here, nether quartz there, glass pane in the middle, um, gla and glass like that. It's the, I think, I believe it is the weakest of them, of all of them, but I could be wrong. If there's something weaker, let me know. Okay. And up. And next we have my per my personal favorite, um, the Glacial Blade. I don't know, I just really like ice-related stuff. I mean, after all, the ice type is my favorite type in Pokemon. So we have the... To make this, it's basically just ice on a stick, and it's really sharp. To make this, put a stick there, packed ice like that, and four the ice like that. It has to be packed ice, so I think you need to find, like, an ice spikes biome or something like that to make this. But the Glacial Blade, it'd be cool if it, like, put, like, slowness on the enemy or something, because it's, like, so cold, but it doesn't. And okay. And next up, we have the Aether's Guard. To make that, we uh, to, I think it looks the looks the coolest out of all of them. To make that, you put the put a stick there, um, two glowstone there, two iron there, two diamonds there, and two feathers there, and you can make it. And oh, we didn't check the dirt. Oh, hold on, I didn't check check the durability on the crystalline blade and the. Uh, the glacial sword, or whatever it was called. Crystalline blade is durability is 570, and the glacial blade is 680. Why is my nose itch? Like the inside of my nose, like itching. Um. Now for the Aether's Guard, the durability is 1,796. And the next one is probably not even worth it to make. But if you're crazy like me and you're going to do it in your modded survival, then maybe it is. To make the Wither's Bane, it is a stick. Um, it is a stick, uh, two nether quartz, uh, nether star, and three soul sand like that. I don't know. It'd be cool if you could make, if you could make um, it does more damage to the Wither. But it'd be kind of impractical because you... Because... You have to kill the Wither first in order to make, make it, unless you have some kind of mod installed that allows you to get Nether Stars, like that, like Lucky Block Knot or something like that. But its its tech damage is eight. You'd think it'd be like I don't know, twenty. It doesn't mean it's a bad sword. Of course, it's still good. And the durability is one eight one thousand eight hundred sixty nine. That's cool. And the next, and the last one, I believe is supposed to be creative only, It is, but it doesn't have to be, is the Adminium Arc. And to make it, you put a stick there, two end portal frames, a command block, and two bedrock, like that. Obviously, you're not supposed to be able to obtain it in survival. Um, but, yeah, but if, there probably are, could, could be some mods that allow you to obtain these items in survival. I know the Lucky Block mod allows you to get end portal frames. But, you'd think that it would, it would take everything out in one hit. And it does. Oh, wow, we are one-shotting them and they're not aggroing on us. Where'd that other one go? Oh, we got another gold sword out of that. We got three gold swords out of that. Where'd the last one go? There it is. Wait, that's not the last one. Oh, wow. And what's really cool is that, um... Is that zombies and zombie pigmen can also hold these, uh, can also hold the, the certain swords. I don't know if they can hold the Adminium Arc. Maybe it's like a really rare chance, but I don't know.
Anyways, so add Mini Mark. 99,999 attack damage, and its durability is 9,999,999. If you get this in survival, you're never gonna die. You could take out the Ender Dragon, with, and you could take, like, bosses out with this. Oh, hey! That wasn't very nice. Um, but yeah, you're not really supposed to be able to obtain it in survival, but if you do, you, uh, it's cool. But anyways, guys, that's about all there is to show with the new update for the, uh, the More Swords mod. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, be sure to say you liked it. Be sure to let me know in the comments what mods I should review, and as always, remember to smile. You are the face of Clone Clock 999 Gaming. Goodbye.